What is up, guys? Windows Gaming here, and who are we here with? Uh, Anthony Sidlow. What did you do today? Today I took third at the Altoona Regional in Iowa. Nice. What did you play? Uh, Tri Brigade Lear Lusk. Sick. Let's see the deck. Right, here's the list. So, three Warbler. Flip them around for me, please. Oh, of course. You've got an excellent point. Uh, three Warbler. Um, best starter. Great extender. Does everything. True. Um, double special from hand. Swallow. Swallow is great. Um, this targeting protection did wonders all day. Add a level one wing beast to search crow against Despia. Um, add Nerval for follow up. It's just a nice bridge to the other engine. Um, good, good like ending play to locks you into X Y Z. And then worst case scenario, it's just like after you go through all your shit and then you just make suits at the end. This is like the best card to extend into that. So why did you decide to play two of all of them except for the one? The reason I oh well here's two of this one. Oh okay, there you go. Um, but yeah, I'm good, you said. Alright. But yeah, and then this one, just adding back as a material, being able to actually recycle twice in a turn sometimes, and like getting greedy with plays, it like paid off a lot of the time. Sure. Um, but yeah, I did two because I'm playing Joe's favorite card, Jack in the Hand. That card is sick. That card's insane. Play two of that also? Two of that also, yeah. Nice. Three is bricky. True logic behind it but yeah that plus um the freshly semi two desires desires yeah. in this deck like two of everything or like three of a lot of things it doesn't really matter what you manage a lot of the time because the other pieces of combo are going to make up for anything double that you banish it's not like never really big punished with it gosh gotcha. unless you hit three nerve that's just an ass um three nerve all, um three fractal just, they're both great starters. This one, just because it floats, sometimes it forces out things, and then you just get follow up with it. Um, one Karis, one Tid. And just not as important um, for like combo reasons. Um, good extender to search off of the Nerve Ball if, if your normal summon's gone. Um, and then the kit getting extra stuff in Grave. Um, and then sending uh, another card that really helped throughout the matchups today. Um, and then for. Last of the monster lineup is one crow and three ash in terms of hand tracks. Nice. Um, ash is best, that's really it. Crow is searchable, so one feels like right to play. Makes sense. And then, should I scoop it up and do spells? Yeah, that works. Right, then for spells, called by, best card. Uh, two desires, one for one, two tanky. Uh, two jack in the hand. Just the consistency between these cards, like, is insane. And then Bird Call is also probably, like, the most insane card for the deck. True. It's just Pride of Practice if you're, like, seeing the Pride of Fan build with pack and stuff. Like, this card's insane. Um, for Board Breakers, just Triple Droplet. Being able to pitch Nerval and a Bird, um, it's pretty free because it floats and then recurring the resource later with uh, another Bird to Special Summon it. Um, and then for Traps... Sending Oath off of Kit a lot of my games, uh, first game, I got to negate Droplet, Dark Ruler, um, Field Spells, it just really paid off, um, even though I drew it like probably seven games in total, um, being able to stack it back to the bottom with Fair Sheet and then send it, it still, it still works pretty well. Uh, Revolt and Triple Imperm, Revolt's just like a really good card for recurring resources and then like getting board presence after your shit's been broken. I didn't find myself ending on Revolt a lot of the time, but um, ending on the spell trap negate with like monster effects to fuck with your opponent, like negate a droplet or a triple tack is usually like better um, for like first game at least. Revolt is better second game because it's like you need very interruption for watching out for like board breakers and stuff, like Lightning Storm or someone plays fucking Regeki. How many cards? Uh, 42 cards in the main. Anything you would change in the main deck? Change anything in the main deck? Yep. Um, nothing really stands out in terms of like wanting to change it. I think it felt really well rounded today, and it felt like whenever I needed cards, I had like the right amount of resources to go into it. Gotcha. And then looking for extra. The extra is really tight. Yeah. Um, Apo, in terms of links, it's Apo access code for like end board and then like game winning for access code. Uh, activate with Mirage Stallion's effects of floating. That's um, Shureg, uh, Rugal, Bear Brum, Bear Sheet for like the Tri Brigade lineup. Um, running one of these is really like rough sometimes, being able to manage your resources well 
and not like having to go into it for your combo. Saving it specifically for the revolt play or the follow-up board breaking play is really good. Ending on this to reborn a monster for um, uh, putting Oath live really helps sometimes. Uh, search revolt, the pitch 2 is also relevant to pitch Oath at times. Um, Fair sheet, stack the Oath to the bottom and then just the best of stuff um, in the extra deck. And then Double Dragon Lords, Almiraj. Almiraj is just necessary for Kit and also just linking off really whatever monster in order to go into the later last combo if you need to. Sure. And then for XYZ's uh, Zeus and Assembled, the Zeus play is like the, probably one of the easiest decks to make Zeus because you don't really have to even activate effects to go through it. You just go two monsters, summon, pass through the effects, and then Zeus. Um, not enough room for Downer, which comes up at times, but. Instead of downer, I'm doing like a more heavy bird lineup. I've got uh, Ensemble Blue for the bounces. Um, three to up to like as many materials as it has per turn really helps. Not being able to be targeted, control can't switch. Um, really, really good in terms of like an end board card. Uh, shovels and spells and traps for promenade. Uh, shovel in Zombie World today. Um, rivalry of Warlords and uh, the Attic Mister field spell, just for like, so they don't have a follow up on it. Um, re limited Recital Starling. I honestly don't even know if I'd be playing two, if it was at two, just because Promenade Thrush comes up like more frequently than I would expect. And being able to re-loop this back by summoning it and attaching another material to it, like comes up and it's not as hard as like, it would be. Although not once per turn, or a soft one's return is pretty crazy. And then the uh, Utopic Future and Break a Future package, just because it's sort of a house to get through sometimes, and boards can often deal with like removing shit and then or going for um, like non-destruction removal is really hard for some boards to get around. Nice. Yeah, that's the uh, extra lineup. And then in terms of the side deck, uh, starting with back row hate, it's just. Uh, Twin Twisters, Duster, and Reboot. Uh, reboot against the Sword Soul player on Anti Spell today, that was uh, insane. Um, he had Blackout and Double Imperm set as well, so it just sort of came in clutch. Just back row. Yep, yep, traps. Um, two Triple Tech and three Dark Ruler. Um, just being able to stop like the Punk Therion shit uh, when they have like the full board made or like the plant deck um, is really nice. Being able to like stop the masquerade if like you need to, if you if I need to, if I feel like I, they're having like an intense end board in Despia. Um, Featherstorm is like this deck's D barrier. It wins games more efficiently than D barrier just because that. So and then triple nib, just uh, for combo. Nice. Yep. You didn't play Droll. Uh, I did not play Droll. I was considering Droll uh, between Droll and um, Dark Ruler. I just felt that Dark Ruler was better just to finish the board rather than like a, poss a, a possible one option. It was more guaranteed. Sure, that makes sense. That's my logical hand. All right, any shout outs? Um, shout out to Sebastian, my friend over there for sponsor, like just giving getting me food this entire trip. Nice. Uh, my friend Sam for driving and just like our whole team called Team DQ. It's funny. Nice. <laughs> All right. And yeah, shout out to Joe. Love you. Yo, thanks. All right, cool.